Hello, Star Wars fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Ahsoka Tano Mandalore variant from Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, made by Hasbro. Take a look at the packaging. Whoops. You can see it's just the usual The Vintage Collection packaging. You see an image of Ahsoka Tano, which I'm pretty sure uses the image from the Clone Wars TV show image. Not some sort of a mix of live action and Clone Wars like the Darth Maul figure that I reviewed. You can see the window exposing the figure and her accessories. You get the Kenner logo on the back. You get other figures that some of them I have, some of them I really, I'm not sure. And one figure I refuse to buy. So let's release Ahsoka Tano out of the package. Here's Nips out of the package, so let's take a closer look at the figure by taking a closer look at the head sculpt. The likeness to the character from the cartoon, I'd say they did a really good job. Hasbro did a really a great job on this figure. And also you can see like this, uh, I don't know what's the call anyway, but still really not bad sculpting on that. Head piece sculpt. And take a look at the body, her outfit, which is ex exactly the same body as, um, same outfit as previous figures that Hasbro made and also Funko and Disney like. But I really do like her new outfit anyway, but I don't mind bashing it. I don't want to bash it anyway. You can see some silver paints on the arms and the shirt area there on the top. And you get the gauntlets on each side of the arms. And you get two gripping hands for holding her lightsaber. And you get this little skirt thing piece which is made out of flexible plastic. And take a look at the pants. Well, nothing much. But you can see she does have some sort, some armor on her lower legs like the knees and everything. And the lower legs there too. And on the bottom, there's no legal stuff, thank God. But there's two pegos on the bottom feet, which is you can actually put her on the display shelf. Overall, for the figure itself, I'd say it's not too bad. A little bit sloppy on the arms, though, but still, still really not too bad. Articulation, the head doesn't go fully rotate, but because it's hindered by the tentacle or something, her hair sculpt. But it does go down this low and go up this high, side to side. Arms do go fully rotate and does go in and out, bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows. There's a wrist rotation and no hinge up and down. Why, Hasbro? Why? Uh, no. Anyway, there's a chest rotate, well, some waist, chest rotation, side to side, up and down. The legs can kick, can go in and out. Once you rotate it, you can actually go kick forward and back. And there's the upper leg rotation. Bend at the knees and rotate at the knees. And the angles to go pivot forward back and angle pivot side to side. All right. Overall for the articulation standard, Star Wars The Black Series articulation. But it's cool that you give her some cool possibilities with her. Accessories-wise, she does come with her two lightsabers. Come on, she doesn't want to stand. There we go. She does come with two lightsabers. One big one, the other short one. You can actually put on her hands like so. And, and there we go. Put the other one here. Mm-hmm. And there. Oh, hold on. There we go. And there. Now you can have her posing around with fighting with Darth Maul. Overall, for this figure, I really do like it. Even though it does have... Oh, come on. But like I said, she does have like this... Like sloppy paint job on the arms, but 
but still a great looking figure, another another less to say. Articulation, standard, Star Wars, the vintage collection, articulation. But again, you can give her some crazy possibilities. Accessories, well, two standard lightsabers that the Sokotan always come with. The sculpt and paint apps, well, the sculpt, it looks perfect. Paint apps, well, it, it's good. And I highly recommend getting this figure at your local Target, Walmart, and Amazon if if she's still available at Amazon for the retail price. Instead of just buying this figure for scalper prizes. Anyway, for my rate, I'm going to give the, the Vintage Collection of Sokotano figure a... Let's just say I'm going to give her a 9.2 out of 10. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. And if you're new to this channel... Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Ahsoka Tano Mandalore version made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, may the force be with you.